up leo it's your girl dominique with empathic guidance and i'm back with another video for you guys today and today i'm back with your mid month of may 2022 forecast okay guys so we're gonna check out what's gonna be coming in for you guys for the last half of this month so let's see what spirit got for y'all today for these last two weeks of may all right holy spirit angels ancestors and spirit guides What's coming in for the sign of Leo for the last half of May 2022? What's coming in for the sign of Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node, y'all. There's so much deception that's coming out. I saved the deck and still getting the same thing from Aries. Great gratitude. Okay. Leo, y'all, y'all could be moving away from conflict, all right? It's something here about, like, new friends and colleagues coming into your life. It seems like things are moving in a positive direction, but you could still have conflict from the past trying to resurface, all right, is what I'm getting here, all right? It could definitely be people that's afraid that you're getting ready to leave them behind, Leo, all right? You... I feel like you'd stepping into a winner's circle and you got a bunch of loser ass friends or people from the past that's like really afraid that you're going to move away from them. All right. And you got people that's afraid that you stepping into a new mindset. I feel like you have one foot in the, the future and the other foot in the past. So this could have been like, you know, like I said, if you got a positive group of friends and colleagues or whatever like let's say you started a new job and it's a good paying job maybe it's the best job you ever had or had in a while and it's just a lot of people there that's just all about they you know they future like these people invest in their future they think about things they change their mindset in some kind of way you know what i'm saying like and i feel like you're grateful for these people coming in because maybe you pray for more positive friends but at the same time i'm getting that you were still hanging out with people that you could have grew up with, that could have lived in your old neighborhood, people from your old job, people that got a different type of mindset. So it's like a battle of the vibrations here, okay? High vibrational friends versus the winners versus the losers. Let's just put it like that. Because I'm not going to lie, you got people that's afraid you're going to leave them behind. Yeah, you guys are being encouraged by your women's circle friends uh, to start some new creative endeavor here. So you got some crab in a barrel friends, because I ain't going to lie, they they afraid about this come up, all right? It's like they liked having a toxic connection that y'all had. They don't want to change, but they also don't want you to exit. They don't want you to see that they not as supportive as they should have been all this time that they've been in your life. Because I feel like new people that you meet and it's more supportive, positive, and inspirational than the people that you've been hanging around. And you could be choosing a path now instead of going back and forth between old friends and new friends. You could be leaning more towards your new friends, especially now since you're trying to get a creative endeavor off the ground and new friends can be involved. Let's get great gratitude. But I feel like you grateful. You grateful and people are envious. Yeah, your instincts are telling you, damn, spirit animals too. So, yeah, you guys could have been spending a lot of time out in the wilderness. Maybe y'all was trying to get grounded and just get connected to nature and to spirit and to your ancestors and some other Gaia and everything else. And I feel like in this time that you've been spending in nature, it's like your instincts have gotten stronger. So, your instincts and your consciousness is telling you, move towards this new group of people. They all got light shining off of them. They radiate a certain type of light. So you could have been praying for a breakthrough like this. Like, I don't know what I need in my life spirit, but can you provide me with the things, the tools, the people that I need? Maybe you was even praying for new people because it seemed like at one point you was content with these old friends. But honestly speaking, it's like these people, again, they content with life and they see that you're not anymore. You know, and I'm seeing freedom here. It's like you've been free from this. And maybe it's like you just needed to cut away from the, the codependency. They trying to cause conflict. I feel like some of these people can be doing things 
like like let's say you're trying to mix your crowds which is not a good idea okay because of course people that have been in your life they gonna feel entitled to your energy in some kind of way and if you hanging out with new people and you trying a new way of being they gonna discourage that they might expose who you were before you know and try to make it seem like you faking it or like you ass kissing or brown nosing to your new friends but in reality you evolving to the same frequency as these individuals the, the good friends all right the winning circle i'm gonna just keep saying that friends and colleagues talent i'm telling you it's like these people see your talent and they believe in you somebody could be somebody here could be willing to invest in you that's why you're grateful you like thanking your ancestors and spirit animals at this time all right, yeah, some of you guys have psychic abilities that have been lying dormant or that have been blocked because you've been hanging around people that's low vibrational, doing low vibrational things. All right, conflict. You're trying to move away from that. You're trying to shield your new life from that because you're recognizing that the, the vibration of the individuals that you were hanging out with before, it was definitely putting you in a position where you felt like you couldn't win. You felt stuck. Yeah, passion, I'm telling you. Answers, I'm telling <laughs> Wow, so your ancestors could even be communicating to you now. They already communicated to you who your new group of friends need to be. They gave you the instinct. They sharpened your instinct and your judge of character enough to see who you should be gravitating towards. But they also showing you who you should be gravitating away from. Because they letting you know that these people are putting a breach in your passion. And that's the reason why you are so talented. But it took for a positive group of people that don't mind to see somebody else succeed and elevate to come into your life for you to even recognize that. Because you've been around people that have been making it, that have been instilling fear within you that you can't do it. Now that you out of this consciousness lack mentality, I feel like people are... I don't know. Yeah, they had you in a victim mentality. People's true colors are starting to show. Because we got behind the mask in reverse. Okay? Your ancestors and spirit guides don't like those old people. They don't like them people from your past. They don't. Alright, we got strength here. So, yeah, it's time for you to overcome this and have some willpower. I feel like your willpower to these individuals are weak. So, I don't know if these is like people that you're in a relationship with. Or, I mean, if this is a person you're in a relationship with. Or if it's like actual platonic friends. But either way, I can see the jealousy, you know, in this reading. I can see people that's used to being around you, used to having your time, used to having your admiration. People that whose opinions used to matter. But now you're realizing that listening to these people's opinions ain't got you nowhere. But listening to the opinions of these people that support you, see your talent, and see the potential in you. Is definitely getting you to elevate in life in a positive way. And you're grateful. Okay? You are. You're thankful. You're very thankful. Why is animals in great gratitude here? You could have had a lot of birds showing up at your residence or when you're spending time in nature. Yeah, because I feel like you went out of nature because you felt depressed. You guys are an emperor. And that's why y'all being guided towards the winning circle. Because y'all don't got time. Y'all taking control of y'all life. Where at first, I feel like people was able to pull strings. Devil in reverse. Y'all not letting fear consume you guys anymore. Fear, depression, uh, self-doubt. You got a bunch of insincere individuals around you. And that's why they mad. Because they don't have this influence over you anymore. They can't, they can't influence you to fear your path. Or to not get control over your life. Or to tell you that it's going to be too much work. Or too much competition. Or that you're not the brightest bulb in the box. Because it's other people that are showing you that you truly are. And I feel like they're willing to invest in you in that way. Talent. Y'all, I'm telling you, a lot of doors are opening up. People are opening up doors. They're helping you network. They're introducing you to the right people. Or they will be at the end of this month. Okay, these last two weeks. Y'all, I'm telling you. But these other people was keeping you stuck and confused. Alright? People from your past. So now you got this path that you got to take. You're trying to gain a sense of direction here. Because before this, I feel like you wasn't feeling yourself. You was feeling like you was a failure. If you went to college for something, you felt like you wasn't able to pull any success from whatever it is that you done racked up all of these student loans 
you know, going into a specific field and it didn't end up paying off for you or whatever. But again, I feel like your environment had a lot to do with it because you were around people that wasn't encouraging and you really trusted these individuals. Because like I said, the longevity and history of y'all friendships and relationships could have been something that you really put your faith into. Why is answers, passion, and conflict here? I feel like your determination has been strengthened because your ancestors are communicating with you, helping you to see the bigger picture, helping you to see that you missed opportunities hanging around certain people. Yeah, with the Five of Wands, now you're trying to avoid conflict. Conflict is here, but Five of Wands is in reverse here. So that's letting me know that the stuff that people say to try to combat you now, instead of letting it get to you like you would, like you was letting that shit soak up into your subconscious mind and help you to believe that, you know what, you're right. I'm just going to leave it alone. It's already too many songwriters in the world. It's already too many visual artists in the world. It's already too many this or too many that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just stick to what I've been doing, which wasn't getting you nowhere. You know, your ancestors been trying to get you to push your limit and invest in yourself in a while, for a while. And that's the reason why your prayers in nature brought in these people, because that's an answer to your prayer. Okay, answers, conflict, and passion. I'm telling you, it's like people been trying to conflict your energy, like make you feel... A certain way now I feel like you in this good energy where it's like you anticipate your future rather than just feeling like you know what I'm gonna just live for today I'm not gonna think too far ahead now you actually are you putting in a lot of hard work that's bringing in a lot of recognition from positive individuals yeah because you've been stuck in a karmic cycle y'all meant to be a star y'all meant to be a star but y'all was stuck around a bunch of karmics here now it's like y'all getting y'all spark back because once again Sometimes all it takes is a little bit of faith in yourself, but also you guys have absolutely come into a group of people that's pushing your limits. Like, look, man, you don't got time to be sleeping on this talent anymore. It's time to go. You're meant to be a star. With the Six of Wands and the Six of Wands and the Star card here, it's letting me know that that combination is star. Like, that's celebrity status to me. So I feel like y'all done missed opportunities that could have opened up doors to stardom for you because you was hanging around people that really didn't want you to have it. Now it's like you could be avoiding these people because you don't want to hear their opinion because you already got the answers necessary to know that whoever these people were, they was just trying to make you fear, fearful and anxious about your future and what it is that you deserve. Yeah, I'm telling you, five of wands. So I feel like I'm talking to a masculine Leo here. I'm getting Libra energy. Start every day with laughter is in reverse. So like I said, y'all was hella depressed. And the reason why y'all felt depressed was because by the higher dimensions, you was being pulled in a direction to explore, you know, things that have been naturally and organically instilled within you. Things that can become like things that can become lucrative and prosperous if you decide to invest in it, but you were hanging around people that were keeping you low down, y'all could have been dealing with a Libra, okay, that didn't want to admit that you actually were talented, Emperor. It could have been y'all father for some of y'all too. Now it's like, mm, y'all got Libra and Leo here, all right? Now shit ain't sweet no more. We got pineapple in reverse. So shit ain't sweet no more. You're not kicking it with these individuals anymore. All right, and for some of you, they definitely was opposite sex attraction. People that was trying to tell you, you know, no, nah, you don't want to give up that good job you got, knowing that that job wasn't bringing you fulfillment, knowing that it was just stressing you out and you was overworked and underpaid, okay? The best type of day in reverse, you was dreading getting up doing what you was doing. So like I said, some of you guys could have definitely... Some of you guys could have definitely got a new job and that's how you're coming into these new people. Why is the hangman here? Or you will be at the end of this month. Yeah, I'm telling you. These is people that you loved. I'm telling you. Some of this could have, some of you, this could have been a partner for you. Alright? Your own partner that basically wanted to keep you pressed down, confused, not understanding what opportunities to open for you. Seven of Cups. Yeah. For 
some of you y'all actually are women. It could have been y'all emperor that was trying to get y'all to feel some kind of way. It's like you evolving from this young, naive, or young-minded, naive individual. Alright? Oh, shit. Okay, Leo. So, what I'm getting here is that you got this strong, independent woman. Alright? So, I don't know if you're a woman or a man. But if you a man, you got somebody, a woman that's strong and independent. That's willing to invest and open up doors and network for you. And the person that you're leaving behind was young and naive. And yeah, y'all could have had history together, but this person don't know a damn thing about becoming an entrepreneur. They just don't. I'm getting that this person could be a Scorpio. Wow. I said I'm getting that they could be a Scorpio, and then a Scorpio popped out. They a Scorpio. The young, naive person that's been trying to keep you stuck. Okay, so Knight of Cups in reverse. Maybe this independent woman is in the music industry as well. And they're going to pull some strings. Yeah. Let's get one on the Knight of Cups. Um, no, in reverse. Yeah. I feel like y'all... Shit, it could have been a possibility that y'all turned this person down before. But now y'all realized... If y'all was turning down somebody that was a friend of y'all's... But maybe y'all had a crush on each other because for some odd reason, I'm getting at this independent woman and this young, naive woman don't get along, okay? So it's like this young, naive woman be talking shit about this independent woman. But the reason why they are is because they know that this person can elevate your life, that they'll be encouraging, that they are part of the winner's circle, that they could be a part of the elite. And this other person can't do nothing but bring strife into their life and sex. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's it, all right? And this person is ready to get away from this devil. I'm getting that this person made lemons out of this individual's life. So the masculine that I'm talking to in this reading that is getting over all this conflict and moving towards something that they know is going to help them grow, um, it's like this Scorpio could have not only discouraged them from taking a, a helpful path, but they also ruined their life in a way because I'm getting, you know, taking lemons and making lemonade, but that's in reverse. So, again, this masculine is taking control of their life, but I feel like it's going to take a while. Like, it's going to take a lot of hard work. These could be two people that you were in, like, a third-party situation with. For some of you, maybe now coming back around to this independent woman, they're willing to be friends and invest in you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you. This Scorpio energy, this young, naive Scorpio energy was trying to get the masculine... To, to feel like it was stupid to be different. There was pillow talking over this energy. But that person was just influencing fear. So this other person could be a Capricorn. Alright Leo. Y'all could be going back towards somebody y'all already knew. So that's what spirit mean by. You know you almost missed the opportunity. Or you afraid that you missed an opportunity. Some of y'all could have missed opportunities. That was connected to this independent person. But you know now it's like. If you had an opportunity, you want to build what you were supposed to build in the past. This person is a mature money maker. And this other person is young, naive, and don't know really nothing but how to mess up somebody's life. So, I'm getting if it was romantic in the past, that's off the table. The only thing that's here is business now. Alright? They could be thinking about helping you to create ideas for a youtube channel so you can get your name on the map for whatever your talent is okay three of wands you might have to relocate for this okay okay leo y'all are finally realizing that y'all was in some type of karmic cycle with this person this person they was projecting a dark ass energy on you so even though that person seemed young innocent and naive they really got a dark side because I feel like all of this was a plan to separate you from your positive friends, to keep you from having opportunities, to keep you stuck with them. And now that you are waking up to certain situations and you're not fearful about taking opportunities anymore, Leo, I feel like this person is mad as hell. But I also feel like your heart is open now. Like you, you got an open heart chakra, an open crown chakra. So being around these new people, because maybe this independent woman is introducing you to their friends. Yeah, y'all leaving the Black Widow alone. I told you this person came into your life. And they basically turned it upside down, Leo. Okay? And they was hoping that it was going to take you a lot longer to evolve out of the mess that they created. 
Why is the five of wands in reverse? Yeah, y'all about to ghost this person. Y'all about to ghost this Black Widow energy. All right, and if y'all ghosted this independent woman, I feel like y'all re-entering into their life to see if that offer is still on the table for them to invest in you. Oh, boy, y'all. Here we go with the sex shit again. <laughs> This is not, I don't think this is about the, uh, about the independent woman. I feel like it's about the young person. I don't know what's going on with this. Man, this young person is so weird because they're not even thinking about the fact that you just want to, uh, that the masculine here just want to regain control of their life. Like, she worried about other shit. Like, <laughs> Like, what, is her sex not good enough or whatever the case is? I don't know, y'all. This girl is crazy. Let's get one more on this nine of swords because that's what I'm getting here. Yeah. And, Leo, this is, like, really so kind of TMI. But it's like this person is... Mm-mm. Lord have mercy. Wow. Leo, I just feel like you you don't want to deal with this person anymore. They bring too much comp, uh, complications, problems, conflict, sleepless nights. I feel like at first you was connected to this person because the passion was good. I'm getting at this person. Um, they may have like, you know, <laughs> y'all already know this is my best cat ever card. But what I'm getting is that because of all the conflict here... It's something about them, like they smell. They got a bad smell or something like that. But I feel like maybe that's because this person is spreading they love too thin. So, again, it's like this young, naive person. They just headed down the road of destruction, not taking very good care of their body. You could be trying to Google symptoms or whatever. God dang, y'all. I mean, that must have really been bad if y'all had to Google symptoms as to why this person smelled bad. But it's like you, the masculine in the situation could have been drawn to this uh, younger person because essentially this younger person, they needed saving. Like they needed this captain saving, but they realized that that was bait. They brought this person into their life and this person, if this been a makeup to break up connection. Maybe the, the younger feminine been like running away. They a runner, they a track star, always lying, always playing tit for tat. Then when they do something bad, they don't even have a proper apology or excuse as to why they did what they do. They just been doing stuff. And I feel like for this masculine, they just done. So maybe this masculine was Googling symptoms like, you know, I mean, if your partner is smelling bad, is they pH thrown off because they dealing with too many other people? Like, I, that's what I'm feeling like this masculine was feeling. And I feel like that's why he trying to avoid conflict by walking away. Oh, shit. So we can taste the rainbow by curious. So really this feminine could have been running off with another woman. And I got yes right here. Could have been somebody thick, okay? Yeah, I'm telling you, and promising this other person, which could be the same sex, that they was going to be with them instead. So this masculine just fed up, okay? Here's what I'm getting. And let me just give y'all a rundown because I know it's all over the place. There could have definitely been a situation where this person got a new job, you met you, you could be the, that independent woman, okay, um, and this person could have, I don't know, they could have had people from their past that was negative, you was a new positive person in this person's life, uh, you could have been trying to encourage this person, you saw the light within this person, but whoever they was hanging out with, was more about fun so they chose that crowd now it's like yeah i'm telling you even this masculine can be feeling funny in a grind area because they just like man my girl not smelling right i'm not feeling good what's going on but somebody was trying to google symptoms which y'all know that that shit dangerous okay so yeah somebody here was trying to google symptoms because they partner 
just been running around, but it, it haven't been with another man. It actually been with another woman. That's what I'm getting. All right. So here's the thing, Leo. If you the masculine Leo, it's like you met somebody that was a positive influence. You had old friends that discouraged you away from hanging around that person. But the more you've been around this old group of friends, old lover, whoever, you just realize how these people are, they just play a major role in keeping you stuck, keeping you um, not evolving, keeping you afraid of like really testing your limits when it comes down to your talent. And in addition to that, you could be finding out that this person actually been creeping with the same sex behind your back. So that could have been a final straw. You could be ghosting this person because you are already feeling not as sexually attracted to this person because, like I said, you feel like that pH been off and it been just throwing you off. You just been wondering if this person is cheating and they actually are and they happen to be with the same sex. Okay, so yeah, I'm just seeing that energy here where it's like you letting it go because you was loyal to people that wasn't loyal to you. I feel like it wasn't just this girlfriend. I feel like it was your friends too, or their friends. It was a, a group of people, you know, and now you being networked and introduced to new groups of individuals, that's going to help you to evolve. And even if you got to go back towards somebody from your past that believed in you before, I feel like that's what you're doing here, okay? And I feel like you guys can be making up, picking up where y'all left off, and they investing in you in some kind of way. Now it's like you don't care about being different. Okay, so what love energy is coming in for Leo? So yeah, your connection with this, uh, with the independent woman is protected. I feel like the person on the outside, the young, naive person, you clear, you cleansing your energy from that individual. All right, I feel like yes, you did tell this independent woman no at first, and I feel like it was because. And that energy in the past, you could have been in this hero complex energy where you had to feel like somebody needed you in order to love you. And that's why you chose this young, naive person. But you realize that being needed is not as good as um, being wanted. And you were wanted by that independent person. And that independent person believed in your talents. They believed in your life. Unlike this other person that tried to talk you out of everything, all your dreams and aspirations. Karmic release. We just keep getting that. Cleanse. Karmic release. Whatever. If this person caught some type of STD, if this masculine caught some type of STD from that person creeping around. Look at this. The a gift. Yeah. Somebody want to come back in here. Alright. Somebody want to come back in. Yeah, this person created insecurities within you, Leo. Okay, the independent person, you could have failed for them. That could have been a reason why this person that been in your life, this young, naive individual that been in your life was trying to convince you to walk away from that person because with Cupid and Twin Flames here, it's like, yeah, that was an intense connection. And I feel like you already felt afraid of it, but then you had everybody else talking against it. So you walked away. Now you avoiding conflict by ghosting those same people. You don't hang out with them no more. I'm getting time with friends in reverse. The gate is closed on those individuals because you gain clarity on, you know, basically who they really are in your life. With children, you could have children with that young, naive person, the, the, the one that's coming up as a Scorpio, or you could just be feeling like these people on some child's play compared to you, you know, but you ready to come towards whoever you got to come towards in order to get your life back on track. And you don't care what nobody got to say about it. Let's get the spiritual lesson here. I actually want to use a different deck because I've been using that too much. All right, so let's see. What is the spiritual lesson for Leo in this situation? liberation and reverse it's like when you giving an out take it y'all freedom and liberation you've been so bound to these people once the chorus is cut spirit is saying don't ever let yourself get caught up in a situation where you don't feel divinely led anymore okay they brought that independent strong person into your life 
not to make you feel, yeah, you might not have felt needed, but at the same time, you, you got the picture. When you entered a situation where somebody needed you rather than wanted you, it was easy for them to run around behind your back, you know, um, basically ruin your dreams because they don't have those same talents and abilities. So you seeing like what's true versus what's not. Letting go. Yeah, y'all was really, really adamant about holding on to whatever this was. Maybe because of the familiarity or whatever the case is. But we get self-love. Yeah, it could have been codependency. Y'all could have been codependent on being around people that y'all was familiar with. But Spirit is saying, when it's time to let go, let go. Because that's what really displays that you love yourself. Instead of loving being in other people's presence. People who actually like ruin your situation more than you love just being to yourself or around people that support you. So y'all learned a major lesson and I feel like you guys are getting it, getting it under control and on track. So like, share, comment, and subscribe, join the Soul Tribe and I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.